In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate to you one uh, procedure uh, for starting the problem on projections of lines when we are given the true length and the true inclinations. So we have uh, modified one problem given in the exercise. So you see that the line here so is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 40 degree to BP and the true length is 200 mm. One of the end S is 25 mm behind BP and in HP. So this is the position uh, which uh, will make its uh, top view by above XY line so as shown here. So the point S is shown to be 25 mm or one grid space above XY line and uh, point S dash which represents the front view is just on the XY line because it is in HP. Now moving forward, so we have uh, the line ST inclined 30 degree to HP. So it's front view. The line is in third quadrant that uh, its, it's uh, front view is on uh, uh, XY line and uh, one of the end uh, is uh, on XY line. The other end will be uh, located in such a way that it is in third quadrant. For third quadrant, so T dash should be below XY line that is how we shall draw from this point onwards. So we will draw the line starting from S dash making an angle of 30 degree and uh, how much is the true length? The true length is 200 mm that means two AutoCAD units at an angle of minus 30. So that way we make the line and this line is the true length so we change its color to the normal color so and this point is capital T dash similar way starting with the top view so we shall draw the line and uh, the true length is the uh, same so true length is uh, at 2 and uh, its inclination is 40 degree to VP. So in the top view the inclination with the VP will be visible. So this inclination is 40. That is how we make the true length in the top view like this and we will label it accordingly. So with point capital T. Now uh, we know that corresponding to the true length we have uh, the one of the projection as uh, parallel to x y line so in other words so we will draw one vertical from here so using f8 you can draw the vertical and up to uh, this point so that we get point s up to the end of this so that we get the point uh, T1 so the point T1 so that T1 ST1 is equal to ST so we get point uh, this way ST1 now what we do we draw the arc using S as the center and uh, arc center point method S as the center and T1 as the other end switch of the ortho and we draw the arc like this. This arc represents the locus of T. Another locus of T is the one passing through horizontal line passing through capital T. So horizontal line for that F at you can press and you can press. So this is the horizontal locus of a small t. This is the circular locus of small t where the two coincide that is the point T. So from point S to this intersection so we draw the line and this is the line which we were looking up to.
we have to draw the projections of the line so this is one of the projection the, uh, its name is st next is the other projection so for other projection what we need to do is we draw the perpendicular from this point below so this is the vertical locus of uh, t dash small t dash horizontal locus of uh, small t dash will be from here passing through capital T dash so this is the point where you have uh, small t dash located so this is the pro other projection and uh, of the line and uh, we call that as t dash to verify this what we can do is so we can repeat similar procedure so from here we drop the perpendicular again so that we get point t1 dash so this is the point this is the point t1 dash so from t1 dash again similar to the previous procedure we draw the arc with the center s dash so s dash t1 dash we take switch off the ortho and uh, press control to get the arc in the correct direction so this is another locus of uh, t dash so this is also passing through the point uh, t dash located through other procedures so it verifies that we have correctly made the projections so we have uh, now drawn the projections you can uh, measure the apparent inclination so uh, first part of the question is over so draw its projections that is over now apparent inclinations is simple so use dim command and uh, use angular option press the f9 button to make the snap off so choose two lines whose inclination is to be measured you see it is 48 so you can write the answer alpha uh, the beta beta is equal to 48 similar way the apparent inclination of s dash t dash is 41 so you can write here using t text here the answer is beta equal to 48 degree and uh, alpha is equal to 41 degree so this is the answer so we need to change its color so normally you can start with the cyan colors and uh, the things which you actually finally need which are not construction lines those things you change to by block or the black color so this way so we complete the problem thank you